Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore Gemma 7B model through Olama. So Olama has now support for Gemma 7B. Gemma 7B is a large language model. Uh, it's an open source large language model by Google. So Google made a comeback in the open source AI space. Their last open source renowned LLM was like Flan T5. And after that, they have come up with Gemma 7B and Olama has you know, support for Gemma 7B. We'll see how we can inference it probably on a CPU machine or also on a consumer GPU. So if you're not aware about Olama, a fantastic tool to work with large language models locally. If you want to get started, uh, with LLMs locally, you know, you can leverage Olama as a tool because they help you inference through whatever other support that we have through GGUF model and they basically help you, you know, get started with LLMs through uh, an API locally. Now, we are going to do this on Google Colab. We'll see how we can, you know, uh, install Olama on Colab and then inference uh, Gemma 7B model. Eventually, we can also build a rag. So let's get started and see how we can do this. Now, if you look at here on my screen, I am Colab. I'm here on Colab and uh, it's, it's, it's called Olama Gemma 7B. And this is how you can download Olama. So Olama on Windows has a preview mode. So if you want to do it on Windows, it's currently not stable. You know, it's in preview. Uh, so we have on Linux uh, and Mac OS. So you can use it on your Ubuntu machine uh, if you are on Linux. And this is what I'm going to do here because Colab uh, backend runs on a Linux uh, machine. So I'm going to just do here, uh, install. And you can see, let me connect. So let's me connect on the CPU. So if you want to do it on CPU, it might take a bit of time. So probably we can just go on a GPU as well and try. But let's first try it out on a CPU. You can see I'm right now just using the CPU here. I'm not using any kind of GPU on Colab. Now, to find out that what kind of GPU we can use on Colab, you can go on runtime. You know, you can click here on change runtime type. And here it is, CPU 800G, because I, I have Colab Pro subscription. So I pay to Google Colab for their services and that's why I can see other GPUs. If you are not paying any money for Google Colab services, you will only see T4 GPU. Okay, so I have 800V100, which is like for 800 Ampere architecture, which like, you know, helps you inference and fine tune LLMs. But T4 GP will also be sufficient enough to, you know, use these models on a consumer GPU through Olama. Let's try it out on CPU, why not? So I'm going to do that uh, first. And you can see here it says uh, downloading Olama and things like that right now. Also, I will try to do a few things. We'll also see if we can build a rag using, you know, uh, Gemma 7B through Olama. So you can see it says it's been downloaded. You know, now you have to run Olama from the command line. Everything will work similar guys, you know, if you are on a Ubuntu machine and you have WSL Windows subsystem for Linux, then you will be able to do this. Okay, so uh, WSL on Windows will work fine, the same command, everything what I'm showing. If you are already on Linux, you know, that's luxury to work with Olama and other, uh, these kind of tools that we have, Llama CPP and things like that. Now, uh, it says command line, you know, so you have to go inside Colab terminal. By the way, Colab also has a terminal, which is here. Once you click on this, you know, let me just show you, it's, it says terminal. You have to just do a few backspaces to remove all this that you see, zero, 2760C and so let's just remove this from here okay and I've just removed it and you just have to run a command olama serve and olama run gemma 7b so olama serve when you do you know it and then it started basically it initiates that uh, tool and run gemma 7b when you do you basically it will get the quantized model the gguf model and basically it's amazing you know compression and decoding uh, techniques that we have that we have been able to inference this LLMs on a CPU or a consumer GPU. Let's have a look at that. So what I'm going to do here is you have to do this command Olama serve and you can just do ampersand so and and then you can also write in the same line okay that okay I also first you serve it and then you run run it for me so I'm going to say okay Olama run and then you give you are going to give the model uh, name here and with of course with the weights category so google has uh, gemma model in two weights variant one is gemma 7b and the other one is gemma 2b so let's do it with gemma 7b first excuse me uh it's a bit it's slow but that is fine okay gemma 7b 
by the way guys you know gemma 2b quantized models are also available you will be able to run this even on a 4 gb or 8 gb cpu i believe so maxim has you know released some uh notebook where we have seen how we can you know uh inference 2 gb uh, sorry 2b gemma model as well you know as a cpu so now let's hit run uh, enter now once you hit enter you can see it says uh your new public key could not find uh could not connect to olama you can you can ignore that for now okay so don't worry about it and it takes a bit of time it first says okay no gpu detected cpu has avx2 because i'm not using any kind of gpu and you can find out all of those things here now what it will do it will uh, now get it will get the model okay the quantized model and it will uh, in, start for you so you can also ask questions in terminal or you can also ask through line chain we'll see a bit we'll make it more you know interpretable or more readable through using line chain here so let's first uh, get it started and then we'll go inside that for that we need to install a line chain we'll do that in a bit let me just do this bit here and you can see it's right now running Okay, uh, it will fetch the model and things like that. Okay, but anyway, I'll just write the command over here. So let me just do that. I'm gonna say, okay, uh, pip install, and then you're going to get a line chain community. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. We need line chain community uh, because that's where we're gonna going to use the Olama class from line chain. We're gonna use Olama through line chain. So let's let's have a look now. I'm just gonna hit enter over here. Let's do that. You can see it's starting, you know, it's doing its thing. And now from there, what we can do, we can just say from line chain, from lang chain underscore community dot LLMs. And then you can just do import. Uh, let me have a look at that. And then you can just do import to Olama. And you can see that. Fine. Now, guys, Langchain supports you know n number of tools like Olama. So we have libraries like C Transformers that helps you also inference uh, these LLMs on on CPU or a consumer GPU. Then you also have uh, uh, Lama CPP, you have Cobalt, and you have Olama, and you also have a lot of UI tools, you know, like desktop tools like LM Studio, which you can download and just set it up in your machine and use it. But of course, you cannot build a system out of it, right? So they have built it for you, so you can just leverage those uh, systems. Now, now that is fine. Now, if you do here, let me first show you, okay, and let me just hit here, and here I'm gonna do is LLM equals Olama, and this is now you're initiating the Olama, and then you're gonna give the model name. So model equals, and then I'm going to write Gemma and then 7B. That's what you're going to write. Now let's run this and see what we get it over here. And once you print LLM, you know it will print LLM. You can see it says model. Uh, let's let's ask a question. So I'm gonna write LLM invoke. And I'm going to ask a question like, uh, what do you mean by uh, artificial general intelligence? Ah, failed status because it's still, you can see it's not complete. It says, uh, let me just minimize this. Okay. Mm. The model is still not downloaded guys. So we have to wait for that model to get downloaded. So let's wait for it. And you can see here that it's pulling now. So it's, it's taking a bit of time to pull that. But if it's not working in your case also for the first time, you can again do Olama run. Uh, let me just write the command over here. So you can also have a look. Let me just add a markdown. So what you can do is this is all the command to run. So you can say command to run and you have to do Olama serve and then Olama run gemma 7b that's how you can do it okay so if it's not working for you in the first time uh you can just do this okay and we'll see so it takes a bit of time because it's a uh, uh, around 7b quantized model that we are using it's it will be around 5 gb uh, of size okay you can see now once it gets done it'll be able to use you can send a message now you can use this 
uh, as an API okay through Olama and once you ask the question now you know now it should not throw an error so let's try it out but when you ask this question it might take a bit of time like a minute or two because you are running on a CPU machine it's not a, a GPU so let's have a look and see you know if, if that works this time and once you do it you will also see uh, the logs over here uh, and right now it's you can see it's generating so it let's find out the time you know it will go more than a minute so i'll take a pause of the pause here and i'll come back with the video once it gets completed and you can see the output is here we can see artificial general intelligence refers to a hypothetical type of ai that exhibits general intelligence similar to humans it is the ability of a machine to perform a wide let's copy it and see it over here guys okay so what i'm going to do here add something new and it's given you around a a very decent answer a good answer i'll say okay so this is how it took it took around two minutes you can see it so it took around two minutes eight seconds on you know inferencing gemma 7b through olama on a cpu machine so it's a cpu machine that we have been using uh, over here and similarly you can also build you know um, i mean you can build a rag as well and that's that can also be that is also doable okay so let me just do one thing very quickly uh let me do pip install hyphen u a lang chain community or let's don't do it in this video guys that let's keep that video of uh, rag video for the next because then i have to go back to gpu because i want to use bge embeddings for gpu uh the large one where i would probably need a gpu machine to do that now in the next video we'll use uh, gemma 7b uh and we'll build a rag kind of a pipeline retrieval augmented generation using gemma 7b uh, bge embedding so probably uh, we'll use wav8 chroma or fast whatever uh, whatever we have handy and we'll see how it you know how it works through olama okay so the end of this video was to see how we can inference or uh, gemma 7b using olama on a cpu kind of a setup and that's i hope you understood now that how you can do that this notebook will be available on my github repository and if you have any thoughts, feedbacks, or questions, please let me know in the comment box. Uh, I think that's all for this video, guys. If you like the content I'm creating, please hit the like icon. And if you uh, haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe the channel. Share the video and channel with your friends and to peer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.